just me today. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's I'm Corbin. Oh, it's just me. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank us on Patreon, follow us on Twitter account, subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Helps out the algorithm. And you're like, whoa, they're significantly less stupid today. Still some stupid, but significantly less. And you would be right. Uh, Rick and his wife uh, are feeling under the weather. And you guys know the COVID world we live in. And so uh, they need to get testing. And to get test back, uh, and so obviously we we're just taking an abundance of caution. They're both doing well right now. I just feel a little under the weather, uh, but that's why they're not here. Um, but obviously the new Vikram trailer dropped, so I wanted to get to that right away because I'm very excited. I know Rick's very excited, so when, when whenever he gets back, whether it's test come back negative or whenever he, he heals from whatever he, he, he's going through right now, um, he will be back and we will re-react to this, but I wanted to get to this right away initially um and so you can get my initial reaction and then once again we will re-react with rick once he comes back do not worry but i'm very very excited the new vikram trailer dropped very late might i add it's a it's a very strange time 8 p.m ist which is 7 30 a.m here um but uh it's fine with me it's better than four four in the morning um but uh Let's see. So it's, nope, oh, don't start yet. Vikram, starring the wonderful and talented uh, people didn't understand sarcasm in the song reaction. We know Kamal Hassan, and we know he's a massive mega superstar, one of the greatest thespians in all of Indian cinema and the world. And Vijay Sarapathy, and one of my favorites, hopefully dosed one day, uh, Fahad Fazil. And then it's also music by Ani Rao. I apologize. I, we've heard a lot of his songs, including from this song and other and other films. He's a fantastic composer. But I am very excited to, one, figure out exactly what this movie is actually going to be. Because um, I do not know at all. But I'm very excited, especially for this cast. I'm super duper excited. Um, one of my most anticipated for the rest of the year. And also I heard this is one of the few uh, films of Kamal Hassan's that he did not direct himself. Which is crazy. I mean, uh, wrote himself is what I meant. Sorry. Um, crazy how talented that man is. More like directing, acting, music-wise, writing, all that kind of stuff. It's absolutely insane. So here we go. Dang, it looks massive. Rules and regulations go. Oh, he looks epic. Yo, One man's revolution. He's another man's terrorism.
Gotta have your KGF moment, I guess, right? Oh. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> they all three of them look extremely intense. Uh, and like, uh, man, they I don't even know where to start with this. This looks so good. Um, it brought exactly what I wanted from it. One, they it, all three of them look like they're going to be at the top of their game. They're going to be playing really interesting, different characters from one another. I'm hoping we get, even though they uh, like you didn't often see them in the same scene, I'm hoping we get a bunch of scenes with all three of them in it together because uh, I think that would be um, really awesome. And then there's another actor, obviously, in this that I know is a massive, 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 massive superstar uh, who we saw in um, Surari Puthuru. Uh, Surya, I think he makes. I, I don't. He's he's not as big of a, a character as the uh, other three, but I know. Uh, I I have been hearing he's going to make a cameo uh, in it. I didn't. If he was in the trailer, I do apologize. I didn't. I didn't catch him. Um, so if if you know where in the trailer that he is coming up, um, please let me know. Um, but man, th this looks like it's going to be one. Massive gangster intense, right? With um, three powerhouses of acting. But it also, like, <laughs> that one shot, I think, like, it almost looked like the guy was wearing dentures or a bunch of his teeth fell out when Kamal Hassan just uppercutted him uh, and, and blew out his teeth. That's what it looked like. Um, but, man, geez. Uh, it's directed by Lokish Khan. Oh, he directed, did he direct the master? Yes, he did. Um, I don't remember, I, obviously we, didn't, we never saw that film. Uh, I heard mixed reviews about it, so you guys can let us know how that one, how, like, what your ex expectations are in terms of his directing style. It looked really good, it looked really gritty. The cinematography looked absolutely freaking gorgeous in this. Um, and it looks like we're going to get, like, fight scenes with all three of them. Um, I'm just hoping, like, we get a bunch of scenes at the exact same time. My guess is one of them is either going to be a cop or they're all three, like, gang lords. Um, Kamal San's definitely not the uh, the cop, for sure. Um, Fafa was the one that I was a little confused by if he was going to be the cop a little bit. Um, which would obviously be different. Usually you'll put him in the villain role and then... At two minutes, ten seconds, you essentially have your KGF2 moment of the trailer. Um, I'm, wonder, I'm wondering, it's, sometimes you, you have to, you, you worry about which parts of films you want to put into a trailer. Because you don't want to put the best parts in the trailer. But you still want to make sure people are enticed in order to come. But honestly, I don't think you needed that much. To, even though I, I loved the trailer and I thought it was great, um, to make people excited and interested in this film. Kamal Hassan's coming back to the cinemas. Vijay, uh, Vijay um, Sathupathi uh, and, and Fahad Fasil and then Surya and then the music by Ayuruth. I apologize. I can't pronounce your name. I do apologize. But I love the background score of this trailer. Um, but like that moment the, at 2.10 when he's doing the machine gun, I'm wondering if they if they've seen the 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 strugglings of of some films at the box office and were like we need to make sure people come. It's just I don't think for this film you even needed to show that. I think that would have been a cool moment to uh kind of save for the film. Um uh and then oh jeez. Cuz so I and it's at 2:15. Fafa takes off the mask and so he's he's the mask person and he looks like man he looks like he's like either sleep deprived on drugs something like that and then vj he has a gold tooth in his mouth and he 
He looks like he's going to be the gritty, gritty one outside of uh, Kamal Hassan. He's wearing a gas mask at 212. There's so much going on in this trailer. Um, oh, yeah. The cinematography at, at 125. You got the car and then all the headlights in the back. Um, who knows if that was a night shot, but boy, did it look like it. This is going to be... My hope is... <laughs> also... <laughs> So I'm I'm kind of scrolling through here um, uh, in the trailer, and at 47 seconds, Fafa is dangling from an apartment. I'm hoping he actually did that. I think that would be awesome to be able to talk to him about that moment and uh, if he was on wires or if he just kind of if he just kind of did it. Um, that makes me believe he's kind of the cop almost. God, there's a shot at 53 seconds backlit from all the the headlights and then there's a silhouette it, it's probably fafa because it looks like he's wearing the mask man i'm so excited i mean i was already excited for this but the the trailer lived up to all the hype that this that this film has um that has been leading up to it in terms of uh all the great songs the background score is amazing uh the lead cast the only thing i i don't know about is the is the director and so you guys can kind of fill me in on um this director and if you think he's um if if you think he'll do a, a, a good job and a service to um all these three actors i'd assume um because i don't know we haven't seen much of kamal Hassan's films later in his career so i don't know how his film choices have been later in his career uh you guys obviously probably have seen everything he's ever done so you guys can let me know um how how his film choices have been and and if, if they're still like up to the mark of early in his career where you know he picked stuff for important reasons or because it was a really really interesting story um and i'm guessing he's yeah he's exec producing i'd imagine there's very little kamal san does especially as his career went on that he doesn't exec produce just so he can have control um of what he wants to control I'm so excited for this. Uh, comes out June third. Um, also, uh, RRR is uh, coming back to theaters here in the United States. I'm gonna take some of my buddies to uh, to see RRR in theaters. Hopefully, with a house full of Indians. So these people who have never seen um, it's a, my my cinema club is who I want to take. Um, and the I showed them Ugly, and so they've never seen. Um, any other region so th this will be obviously the first non hindi film and the second indian film that they've ever seen and so i think it'll be a really experience if the theater is full uh and there's whistling and howling again i think that'd be really fun but this one looks real real good so like i said once rick gets back uh to the channel and uh you guys can wish him well uh and, and him and his wife for a speedy recovery of whatever they are uh whatever they have right now um but once he gets back, I will re-react to this trailer with him. I just wanted to get an initial reaction of my reaction out immediately. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know what you thought about the trailer. And if you're excited for this film, down below. Josh!